Okay, hey guys, this is Carlos at Big Top Collectibles, and we're going through our next update on our Build the Millennium Falcon project that we got going on. Uh, we've gone through just about uh, four issues now, and this is issue five, or actually this is issue three. I wanted to point out where we're at is we're working on the uh, the cockpit. And if you look, here's kind of like the cockpit uh, seats and stuff. This is all the material that they're, they're giving us to actually use. And as you can see, there's your step-by-step -step instructions. And as you put this whole thing together, there's the cockpit seats, there's the levers. Um, here's how you put it together at the seats. You kind of snap these things in. But one thing that we noticed as we were putting this together is great pieces. Everything looks great, but the coloring is way off. I don't know, quite know why they gave us uh, orange, maroon kind of looking uh, front seats. And then the back seats um, are white, as you can see. Uh, none of these colors are in the actual model. We've looked at plenty of still frames as well as the movie. And so what we did is we painted them and we weathered them to give it that used universe look. So here's kind of where we're at with our cockpit. So check this out. So that looks awesome. That's beautiful. As you can see, we kind of did the coloring stuff and we got the actual color, which is kind of like that brown tan kind of mustardy kind of color looking. And as you can see, and this might fall apart because it's not glued together yet. I kind of want to show you, you can kind of see the back seats and the coloring and see all the weathering that we got on there. See all the little black specks and you can kind of see the original red color coming through in the back. And you can see the black butt seats, I guess, from the wear and tear from Chewie and Han's butt sitting there. You can also see this back panel back here where we kind of really weathered that up too. That was really mostly white. And you can see we really gave it like that used leather look where they're walking in and out of that doorway. And then the side panels were also just black. And what we did was we kind of matched the paint uh, with this front uh, sticker that they give us for the cockpit. The sticker here, what we kind of do is you want to match these paints as well as you can, the blue, that gray, the black, the silver. And you want to kind of match them on the inside of these. And we're not done painting this. This is just a really quick thing. So you kind of see like even this part here was all black, but we've been painting and matching it. And as you can see, you can also see the back seats, the wear and tear on the butt seats back there. Now, one of the things I wanted to have uh, Kevin kind of explain uh, for you guys really quick is how he came up with this little uh, color uh, process that he used to weather those seats. And these are the paints that we use. So uh, you want to just give us a quick rundown, Kevin, what you used? Well, the seats were originally red, as you can see in the photo over there. So uh, first color I put on was this mustard color. Uh, painted the seat completely in this mustard. Let it dry. And then put a, a light coat of this, um, what's it called, buff, on top of the yellow. And then used a small piece of, like, scrub or chore boy or whatever you want to call that to start buffing some of this buff away from the, the mustard. Got it. Once that was accomplished, took an X-Acto blade and put the slice through that paint so that it looks like the, you, where you can see the pleated or the tuck and roll of the seats. And then once that was finished, I took some of this, um, what is that, the OD olive drab, with a with with this brush here, dip my brush in there, take it and dry it off. So then, as you apply it here, it's basically dry brushing the part. It's just barely coming off on your brush, and you just keep doing that and doing that and doing that until you start getting that used, worn-in look. And then a little bit more buffing with the with the the Brillo pad there, and that's how that's accomplished. Awesome. Now, another thing I want to point out is we're going to do a custom part on this, and I'm going to kind of hand the camera over to uh, Kevin here really quick. Uh, go ahead and hold that for me really quick, Kev. And then what we're going to do is on the back seat of this, as you can see, we have the two back seats that are facing forward, and this comes, a, this comes apart really quick like this, and as you can see, these back seats just pop off, just like that. Now, for the true uh, Star Wars aficionados out there. Um, with the back seats facing forward, it looks a little too model-y for me, I guess, for lack of a better word. But what I wanna do is we're gonna actually cut off this bottom piece right there, 
So what we're gonna do is I wanna turn in one of these seats so it looks like that. So it gives it more of a, like an actual, like we're using this cockpit, it's not just a model cockpit, everything's all asymmetrical and uniform. I wanna kinda give it a little tilt and a turn like it's actually being used. So that's another custom part that we're actually doing on this model. So uh, check back with this, guys. I'm going to do another quick update later. But again, just kind of want to give you guys an idea of where we're at so far with our cockpit. So uh, thanks, guys, and uh, hopefully you like it. And stay tuned, and we'll get back to you soon. Thanks. Bye.